This morning at 6.02, people in Perry are joining together to mourn the loss of Amir Jolif. He was the 11-year-old boy killed in last week's school shooting, one week after that horrific day. Jolif, who is affectionately known as Smiley, will be laid to rest. Now, Local 5's Laura Samilas is in studio with more on Amir's life. Good morning. Good morning, Samantha. Amir's family describe him as a vibrant soul known for his infectious smile and boundless energy. He loved participating in choir and band, playing soccer, and being a kind and good friend to others. On Wednesday, a visitation for Amir was held all day in Perry at Caldwell Parish Funeral Home. There, people honored him and remembered the life he led. According to his obituary, he had an unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. He stood up against bullies and championed those who needed a voice and ensured that kindness always prevailed. The whole community of Perry is feeling the deep loss of Amir, including Perry Middle School principal Ned Menke. Amir was a friend of all of ours and was a huge part of our school. I get to spend a lot of time with students in our cafeteria. Amir had a fun personality and loved to laugh and smile. He really enjoyed having fun with his friends and he loved playing video games. I will miss him dearly. Now today, Amir's family and friends and the Perry community will continue honoring his life. A funeral service is set to begin at 1030 this morning at St. Patrick Catholic Church in Perry. Funeral home officials say there will be overflow seating available at First Christian Church across from St. Patrick. A webcast of the funeral will also be available for those who wish to join in virtually. We will have coverage of the funeral on air and online later today. Samantha.